So this AI week has been absolutely crazy. We have seen so much news come out from the biggest companies in the space. First of all, Mistral have launched the biggest open source model, which is 141 billion parameters, and it has shattered all of the other open source model on all of the benchmarks. We have Google Next, where Google have introduced so many new products like Google Vids, which is going to change the way that we create and make presentations and their own AI agent builder, which is something that we are going to see later on. So make sure you subscribe to see that. And of course, Gemini 1.5 Pro public preview. So because OpenAI does not like it when they're not in the new cycle, they decided to drop mysterious tweets about GPT GPT-4 Turbo being accessible to everyone through the ChatGPT Plus subscription, but they did not say anything about the improvements that has been added. So they said that it has been tremendously improved, but what type of improvements or anything else, they have not said anything. So today we are going to compare between GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo to see if there has actually been an improvement or these are simply tweets that they have made to basically take the lights out of all of the other companies and put it on themselves again. And while we're doing that, we are going to put these models on a scale to understand how much of an improvement GPT-4 Turbo has actually had compared to GPT-4. So with that being said, let's jump to my screen. All right, so we are in OpenAI Playground and we are going to compare between GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo. And of course it's OpenAI, so we don't have any information about the number of parameters of the model, the architecture or anything. So we just need to test it basically and see how it's going to respond. And by doing this test, we're gonna do a mini benchmark where we are going to assign a pass or fail with a certain grade to basically see how good that models against other models that we are going to test in the future. So let's start with the first simple math question, which is what is 5 plus 6? And we should have 11. Let's go to the second question. Normally with other models, we don't go as fast with these questions, but since it's GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo, we expect them to have good answers compared to that. So the answer to this is 35. And we can see that GPT-4 Turbo has been able to basically give me all the details and knew how to use the PEMDAS system. But for some reason, GPT-4 is giving me this wrong answer. And I don't remember ever having this problem with GPT-4 since having the GPT Plus subscription. So I don't know if this is a, a really old version of GPT-4 and if it's a specific release date that is very old, but this should not be the case in here. So here we have a pass on GPT-4 Turbo, but we have a fail in here. So we are going to see if, if we ask this question and add a specific instruction of give me of your reasoning. Let's see in this case if GPT-4 is going to be able to answer this question. Okay, now it has been able to answer this question, but, but I don't understand how it couldn't give me the right answer in the, from the first try. So it is a pass, but it's not a full mark. Now let's see if it's gonna do some simple math. Let's see if it's gonna be able to solve this equation. So solve for x in the equation, nine x plus seven equals 16. The answer to this is one. The x is going to be 1 and we can see that GPT-4 Turbo is a pass and also GPT-4 has been able to answer this so there is no problem with it. Now let's see if it's going to be able to interpret a text and be able to create an equation from it. The text is going to be answer the following question step by step. A forest giant wakes up every year to consume an entire group of sheep. In the last three years, it has devoured 161 sheep. Each time it awakens, the herd it targets has twice the population of the last. So the first time there is an X, the second time is 2X, and the third time it's 4X. So that equation should be equal to 161, and that is basically the interpretation that it should have from this text. How many sheep were in the first group it consumed? So it should solve 4X. Let's see in this case what it's going to do, if it's going to be able to turn this into a... Uh, an equation, the right answer is 23. And we can see here that it has been able to get the right answer. Of course, GPT-4 Turbo is going to get the right answer. It is, a, it is a pass for both of them. Now let's go ahead and go to some logic and see if it's gonna be able to answer this question. I have a chicken named Tom, a chicken named Pug. So basically I have seven chickens and I have one dog. How many chickens do I have from this text? You're gonna be surprised that actually a lot of AI models cannot answer this. So let's see if it's gonna be able to count the number of chicken from here. So both of them has been able to detect that there are seven chickens in here and there is one dog. 
a lot of models actually can get this right. Now, let's see if it's going to be able to answer this one. This is not a straightforward one. So immediately we can see the difference. So here we have the usual an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And of course, the apple of my eye, etc, etc. So we can see that clearly GPT-4 cannot answer this question. And this is one of the questions that when I used to ask from GPT-4 like four or five days ago, it hasn't been able to answer it. But GPT-4 Turbo starting from like two or three days ago when I tested it, since Sam Altman has basically dropped the updates news, it has been able to answer it. So here we can see that it can actually answer the question. So this is a pass for Turbo and it is a fail for GPT-4. Now let's go to a more logic and reasoning question. So Sally, a girl, has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The, the right answer is, of course, one sister. Okay, so this is a fail on GPT-4. I don't understand this, this type of question. GPT-4 was answering with no problems. But for some reason now, it cannot answer it correctly. So Sally has two sisters. Although each of her brothers has two sisters, this includes Sally herself which means there are only two other girls. No, there's only one other girl, which is Sally's sister. Sally has one sister, so we can see that honestly, it is so much better than GPT-4 for logic and reasoning. So this is a pass on GPT-4 Turbo, but not GPT-4. Now let's go ahead and see another question, which is a reasoning and math question. It's not only for logic. Double it and multiply it by four, then divide it by eight and you will have it once more. What number is it? It's, it's kind of a riddle. The, the right answer is every number because you're basically multiplying by two and four, which is multiplying by eight and then you divide in by eight. So the right answer is every number. That's the catch. Let's see if GPT-4 and Turbo can answer this question. I think both of them has to answer this question. Okay, so GPT-4 is true for any number X, can be any number. The number is any number. This is because mathematically it's a, exactly. So both of them have passed this test with flying colors. Okay, now let's have the helicopter question and see if they're going to answer correctly. How many helicopters can a human eat in one sitting? A human cannot eat helicopters, of course. Edible, consuming, okay. Humans cannot eat helicopters in any quantity. Helicopters are large machines. Okay, so that is a very good answer and both of them have passed the test. Now let's go to some coding question and have a very basic question which is write a Python function that prints all odd numbers between 5 and 102 so this should be straightforward and as you can see here so for e in range 5 to 103 if the modulo of i on 2 is different than 0 if the number is odd print that number and exactly what we want so so we can see here that both of them have passed the test now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask a harder question. So I am going to go back to playground because I want to have a clearer code that I can actually run on my VS code. So let's start with GPT-4 and ask this question, write a visual Minesweeper game, 10 columns and eight rows in Python using Skinter. I'm not going to write that. I'm going to leave it to itself and see if it's going to be able to use Skinter without me actually mentioning it. So let's go ahead and uh, submit that and see what's going to happen so here we can see that it did not use skinter so hopefully the game is going to work i'm not sure but hopefully the game is going to work okay so it has finished now all we have to do is copy the code so now we are in vs code let's paste the code and see what's going to happen if we run the code so here we're going to go to terminal and let's run the code and see what's going to happen so as you can see here it's basically giving me an answer where i have to basically play inside of the terminal this is not what i want i want a real game a visual game so this is we're going to say a fail but hopefully if we use the full prompt this time it's going to be able to give me the game that i want okay so we have to re-ask it using Skinter and then we are going to resubmit that and let's see if it's going to be able to solve the problem this time. All right, so let's copy the whole code. Let's go back to VS Code and let's paste it. So now let's run it. And as you can see here, at least I have the visual. So it starts playing, you lose. That is very good. So here we have a basically a Skinter game. I was not lucky at the first time. So now let's start playing two, two, one. And here we have a problem. Here we have a problem. So we cannot finish playing the game, but at least the game is working. So it is not 100% pass, but 
it is not bad. There has to be a problem. At least it is giving me a good enough starting point. So I am not going to consider this as a 100% pass, but it is good enough. Now let's see for GPT-4 Turbo. For this, we're gonna go to ChatGPT. We don't need to do it in Playground. We can just go here and type in without saying that we want to use Skinter. Let's see if it's gonna be able to pick up on that. So it has used a different one called Pygame. Let's see if it's going to work correctly okay so let's go back here and let's clear this and then pip install by game let's leave this to install and come back here and copy the code and then paste it inside of here now let's run it and see if we are going to have the minesweeper game so it is working it's actually very good but it is not when i click on a bomb it's basically not saying that i'm losing so this is not a hundred percent pass i mean it is working correctly but i'm just not losing when i'm clicking on bombs so here for example let's see we have two so yeah that's correct and here we have four so this should be a bomb okay so at least it is correct in terms of the logic so let's re-ask it but this time let's re-ask it with saying that we want to create it with kinter and see what's going to happen so let's re-ask you ask it like this and see what's going to happen okay so let's copy the code and let's basically paste it in here and see what's going to happen this time let's launch it and here i have first of all just now i have uh, noticed that maybe the other one did not have 10 columns because here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we have eight rows so that is correct but the other one i think with gpt4 it was not correct so so i remember the shape it was not correct so here okay you clicked on a mine that is very good and i am very unlucky so let's try it again and see okay you clicked on a mine that's very good so it is working it is actually working i have a minesweeper game i just want to actually go far enough in the game anyway so we have a hundred percent working game if we define the package that we want to use so this is not a hundred percent pass but it is close enough so i would say gpt4 turbo is actually very good now let's go ahead and go to the last question where there is no right or wrong. It is the dilemma question. So let's go back to compare. And the dilemma is that your friend tells you that they committed a crime. They explain that they are having trouble sleeping at night and you are the only one they can trust with their confession. A few days later, you read in the paper that someone has been arrested for your friend's crime. Do you go to the police and tell them what you know? Encourage your friend to confess and warn him and warn him if he, if he does not, you're going to tell them. You basically give them an ultimatum or say nothing because you will not betray your friend's confidence. So let's see how are they going to answer this. So here we can see some may feel obligated to go to the police. Confession, especially if an innocent person is being incarcerated. Others might choose to encourage that friend to confess or on guilt to motivate them. Some might prioritize loyalty and remain quiet. Every decision has... So it's not really helping me with anything. This is... Normally this is no pass or fail in this one but it's not giving actionable advice or any kind of empathetic feeling it's not as friendly of an answer but on the turbo this is a complex ethical dilemma balancing loyalty and a friend against responsibility reflect on the gravity of the crime okay talk to your friend seek legal advice consider the implication of saying silence okay so this is more like it so this is so this is closer to what i would like to see of an answer so I would I would consider this to be closer to a pass than, than this one. So all in all, I would say that GPT-4 Turbo is a huge advancement. And I think it makes sense now in benchmarks that it took back the crown from Claude Opus. So so yeah, I mean, OpenAI came back to the game and now a lot of people would not be leaving the ChatGPT Plus subscription. When you have the best model, plus you have the GPTs, plus you have access to the internet, then advanced data analysis, it does make sense to stay with ChatGPT and OpenAI. GPT-4 Turbo is definitely better than GPT-4 with a long shot, according to what we have seen in this video so so yeah thank you guys for watching i will catch you guys next time and we have so many things to talk about so make sure you subscribe and you activate the bell to be notified whenever i am posting something again thank you guys for watching and i will catch you guys next time peace